What is good guys? Welcome back to another video. Oh, yo. <laughs> it's your boy Bobby back again. Right now we're in a speed three with my boy Robert. Rob is one of the supporters of the channel. Yeah, so today we're gonna be installing springs in his 2013 speed three. And we got our boy Jason in the back. Hey bud. <laughs> this nigga's vlogging. <laughs> okay guys, we made it to John's house with uh, Roberto's car. What's your name bro? Sean. Sean? Sean. We got Sean and John. Both uh, getting, getting the down and dirty. Yo. But cool dudes, they <laughs> gay. It's, they got uh, three speeds out here. Some dirty. I might. So today we're gonna be installing these teen um, springs. So originally I had coils to begin with, but like I said, the whole situation where my suspension collapsed, I went with springs only because that was more affordable at the time. A lot on the stiff side. So. Stiff. Yeah, but I mean, that's what you're expecting when you're operating springs. Going that's stock. True. He's also on the same springs. It's about like a finger and a half, maybe. Finger it hard enough. Let me see. My big ass finger. Oh my god, that's a fat yeah, finger. Actually, yeah, like yeah it's like a finger. Half. Finger and a half. Uh, we are loosening the top so that way they're easy just to come off. Come off. Um, and then we're going to have to start working at the bottoms. Uh, the worst part about it is. There's a ABS sensor right here. You're gonna tuck that behind. In order for this to be separated, this whole entire bracket, you have to start hammering down on this and it slowly oh, okay. pops out. Um, but you gotta just be careful because there's a, a sensor clip in there. This shit coming this stuff. Dude, that's just that's the key, man. That's the key. Just key to success is WZ40. Like that beer. <laughs> Some rust, some genuine rust, a little rust dust. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, this bracket's out, and this is also connected at the same. So those are both out of the way. This actually comes out with this bolt down here. The brake caliper, that's the last thing that you're gonna do. And then you start hammering away. Hey, stop, Danny! Hey, stop! You're such a pussy horn, it's not even funny. <laughs> All right, look. That's it. That's the team we're yo. There we go. We're doing this a little bit. That's exactly. <laughs> There's a bunch of bearings and this is specific for the for the speed three. Yeah, the they have the bearing balls in there. So when you're taking this apart, just be careful because this part is attached to this and it will pop out and all the bearings go all over the place. Come on. Oh it's like you had one job. You had one job. Same thing on the other side and everything's reversed. Yeah. Have you ever been at the gym listening to rock? I, I promise you, you make like 20 games in one day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like you get the roid rate with, without the roid. Like, right. <laughs> okay. My neighbors are like, what the fuck? <laughs> no? No, speed zone is deep. Oh, alright, alright. Try right. not to. We don't sound like like stupid Subaru owners. <laughs> so, like we were saying before, you have to get yourself some spring compressors from AutoZone. You can rent them out. Basically, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, like Rob was saying, you have to like do them away from the car because they can shoot out and uh, break shit. If anything shit. goes wrong. Yeah. If anything goes wrong. Yeah. We're going to take this off. And this top part right here is going to go flying into the windshield. Right that's, there, that's, exactly. That's what's supposed to happen. Alan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fucking nuts. <laughs> I want to take the Mustang out and race you. Right now? <laughs> me? Yeah, dude. Fuck it. Let's go. What are you doing anyway? Hang on. Let me get a cigarette. <laughs> I'll get you a beer. Thanks, babe. Do it, do it. Yo, is this the YouTube channel right now? Yeah, man. Yeah. Say what's up, bro. Yo, you got Tommy two times. We got John two times. <laughs> I know Pretty Boy Fredo. This guy working. Are you a mechanic? Like, what you do for a living? No. Nope. I can you, never do this do for, a living? for a living. Don't worry. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Did you get that on cam? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious, though. What do you do, John? Suck dick. <laughs> <laughs> this 
nigga gay. Yeah, same height, less coiled. Less coiled, right? Yeah. Um, so if you pull a Sean, basically. So if you pull a Sean, <laughs> and these do come apart, try to find all the balls, put them back in there. There's standard Which ball I bearings. I found every ball. We found every ball. <laughs> it's really easy for me. So, the smaller one fits inside there. <clears throat> that one fits inside there. And just sits like that. So if you're stupid like me and forget to just crack this open, just loosen it so you're able to twist it off. This actually holds a whole entire shock together, so if you loosen this, the shock will come apart like crazy. Um, so just crack it while it's inside the car. If you forget, you can use uh, the Allen key here. Stick it right while well, you stick the, the 17 right in the middle. Um, and you stick it in there. And then as simple as just, you know, twisting it and you can see it coming apart. And like I said before, when you're taking these off, you just need to be careful or else you pull a Sean. And, uh, <laughs> sorry, Sean. No, sorry. Spill the balls everywhere. Yeah. Spill your balls everywhere. You can't be spilling balls all over Do the place. Do it for fun. <laughs> so you want to make sure that it's lined up and perfectly. Um, so if it's done like this, you're not going to get the whole maximum. Um, it's gonna it's gonna be off. You're not gonna have stability. It's locked up right here. And the same thing on here too. If you can see, this is all different. So you just want to make sure that it's all lined up okay. to where the uh, the spring starts. You want to have that right in the middle. It's, it's these that need to be torqued down. And everything else, uh, the ones are like a 120. I'm just trying to throw something out there, <laughs> make it happen. <laughs> There's a number. <laughs> So that's what the final product should look like. This is for the front. We're about to hit the rears. It's like he's used to that motion. <laughs> so you just want to get one in. Like that. It's a matter of there getting another one in there. So you just want to have them nice and loose because when you're bolting everything up down there, you want to be able to have the shock move back and forth. Sorry, sorry. Alright, gently let go. There you go. Pull up. Have it compressed. You can just tap it from both sides. And we see it snap in, just like that. And then you're gonna put the bolt in and it's gonna tighten everything back up. Sway bar end link uh, fits through this little hole right here. And then the ABS sensor gets bolted up there. And then there's a little clip back here that you're gonna take off. Um, and then when you put it back on, this sits in there and the clip goes in. The rotors get put back together normally. I mean, it's kind of just like self-explanatory. And then just make sure you tighten the four bolts on the top. That's it? Yep. That'll complete that one side? Uh, complete the one side. Are you taking off the sway bar? Daddy. Yeah. Of course we're taking off that sway bar, my guy. Yo, anything from my guys. Yo, yeah, my guys. You might want to loosen up the top bolt. Yo, fuck you, Sean. Yeah, Sean. I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying. Ready for this? I'm like just a little bit. Um, once you get the bolt out, uh, simple as that. Comes right out. You're gonna push down on this. The spring comes right out. You're gonna hold on to these because you need them for the new springs. Put it right there, and this gets more stuff like that. You're gonna jack up the bottom, and you're gonna reapply. Honestly, it was just the first. Right. Yeah. Then you just have to reconnect the sway bar and we're all done. Look at that top, bro. Holy There's God. no fingers. Damn. Damn. Oh yeah, my God. God. That is tough. Nah, these are all good. They're tucked a little bit. They're good. Dude, that bolt's hard. That looks good.
right, guys. So that's it for today's video. Shout out to these boys for helping us out. There you go. Shout out to this guy. This guy knows his stuff, man. That's gonna be it for today, man. So if you have any questions, be sure to drop them in the comment section. And uh, I mean, I don't know too much about this stuff, so I'll try to throw it their way, and then we'll try to answer it for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, peace out. So what are you about to do? I'm just gonna install these cannons real quick. We're gonna go fight some pirates. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> First you want to put them on the racks. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs>